You know how is a person uh, got saved by the grace of God in Christ Jesus alone by putting your faith in Christ Jesus alone. That's how you got saved. Um, what not a lot of people talk talking about is what the grace does. What what the grace of God does after you got saved. You know, it is if you don't talk about the second part of it, it's almost like. Uh, I just need to be saved, which I do. We all do need to be saved. Fundamentally, that's, that's the, but you don't get saved and stop there. Now, that's the thing. After you got saved, you need to understand how does the grace of God help you to obey God. That, that's the real deal. Okay, let me just read uh, Westminster's Confession a little bit here. It says that because we are saved by grace, we're no longer obligated to the law. Westminster's Confession says that we are saved by grace. Now we want to do what we are required to do, what we want to do. We are saved to be free. We are saved to be free. Do you hear that? We are saved to do what we want to do. We are saved to want to do what we ought to do. Now, what we ought to do is clear. We struggle with this, you know, because... The, the broken self, the, the fallen self, the, the, uh, the depraved self, depravity, there's always a part of us that called the flesh um, wars against the Spirit, the Holy Spirit inside us. So there are two parts of us. One is Holy Spirit living in us, and there's a part of us which is our natural self, our fleshly self, which is the last, the, the war against one another in us. So, before you are saved by the grace of God in faith, in, in, by faith in Christ Jesus, you don't even have, to have the part of the Holy Spirit helping you to war against that lust and that flesh. You only have your own conscience, which is the DNA, which is the image of God that was barely broken, but that's by common grace is still inside you. They help you to fight against that lust and this, the spirit uh, of, of self. But now, after you got saved, the Holy Spirit dwells in us, um, to help you to do, to want to do what you ought to do. You see, the, I emphasize the word want. Want is desire. So human desire naturally lean towards the bad things, the evil things, the, the depravity things. Even though we know we should do the good, but we cannot do it because like Paul said, we are we're in bondage. Luther, Martin Luther said we are in bondage to, the, to sin. Uh, the bondage of the will and uh, what the Holy Spirit does is to change us, transform our heart's desire that we, our heart desire towards the good things, the right things that God specified in, uh, in the Holy Scripture. So we want to do that because, um, because, because it's a transformation of the heart. That's, that's why Romans 1 say, um, Romans 1 say that we are transformed by the renewing by the renewing of our mind, that we that, that our mind is renewed. That is the biggest thing. If we are, our mind is not renewed, we will never desire to do God's will. So the grace of God includes the uh, the renewing of our mind. Be transformed by the renewing of our mind, which which comes from two things. You must read the scripture, meditate on the scriptures, and allow the Holy Spirit work upon the scripture in our hearts and to renew our mind, transform us. That is the grace of God. So, after you're saved by grace, the grace of God transform you to want to do what is required of you in Christ, in the corner of Scripture.